So here at EGX 2016, um, we're here at the Massive Monster booth with Jay, and I've just had a go uh, Adventure Pals, um, the most cheerful, positive platform I think I've ever played <laughs> with a bit of a bite in terms of some heavily violent combat, you said. <laughs> where, do, where do we get started? Tell us a bit about uh, um, Adventure Pals. So Adventure Pals is a platformer game in mm -hmm. which you're on an adventure to save your dad who's going to be turned into a hot dog but you're not alone you have your pet giraffe and your pet rock and you use them to get around the level so things like the giraffe you can use his neck as a grappling hook mm -hmm. you can use he sticks out his tongue when you're jumping and like goes around like a helicopter yeah. and so you can glide around the levels and things like that so you've got that kind of like banjo kazooie like yeah. two things working together to get across the levels so is that a lot of those kind of character-based games, the, the influences for this, as you as you first got started, you said you worked in flash-based games before. That's right. How did you get started on, on Adventure Pals? Where did kind of that process begin for you guys? So, uh, the Adventure Pals started quite a few years ago. We did actually a flash web game called Super Adventure Pals, and it did really well. It like got a, several million plays sort of worldwide, um, and it was just a free-to-play web browser game. And as we sort of, as time went on, we always wanted to do the sequel, um, and then we kind of we, we kept working on it, kept working it. Things didn't, didn't kind of happen until we kind of scrapped it and we said, right, let's take off Super Adventure Pals 2. This is the Adventure Pals. Let's reinvent it. Brand new engine. Let's start it from scratch. And uh, this is what we have today. Yeah, just tell us a bit about the character. So you're, you, you're this little boy and your dad gets kidnapped. Yes. And you end up with a giraffe. How did you begin to come up with that? Um, I think we were just kind of, we have this thing where if the idea is too normal, we kind of throw it out. We're like, that's not, that's not crazy enough, yeah. get rid of it. So the idea is like a lot about sort of that, that feeling of childhood imagination yeah. when you're playing with your friends, maybe like in the park or in the, in, in the woods or whatever it is, and you're kind of imagine, th imagining and anything can happen, anything's possible. We really wanted to capture like that sort of feeling of magic, which is what we're aiming to do here. So like a giraffe in your backpack, like why not? And um, like the pet rock as well who helps you out. And I think one thing you kind of touched on there is playing with your friends. One thing that I'm very happy about, couch co -op straight away. Yes, uh, yeah. just, just hit start, plug in the second controller and you go in straight away. Is that yeah. something you was very important to you from the start to make sure you had that in there? It was, definitely. And I definitely felt like, why aren't more people doing it? Because you just spawn in sort of a second player. Um, I know some games that have it, they have like a whole co-op mode. This is just the same game. Um, but your friend just hit start, they copy all your stats because it, there is RPG yeah. elements you can level up um, and upgrade your character. But you just copy the stats and you're in and you play and then when you load next time, if you want them to come in again, they just hit start again. It's like simple as that. And um, you showcase this weekend, the, obviously the world map and there's loads of different zones. Uh, every zone plays differently, I'm guessing, and, and brings different elements into the yeah. very, very gorgeous art style as well. It's, yeah, the artist is amazing. Um, he's a guy called Julian, and we've been working together for years now. Um, each area, yeah, very different. Like, we have the underwater area, which is kind of, like, filled with crab people, um, and then we have, like, a post-apocalyptic wasteland, which kind of fall out, but it's filled with dinosaurs, and you go to the moon, and it's just kind of anything that we could think of we kind of threw in there and, and, and to make this game. Yeah, it seems like you kind of went mad with characters you were just like <laughs> what can we do and just kind of had a play about, play with it. Definitely like there's 125 levels five areas the game takes I don't know we haven't even played it all the way through yet but we're thinking around 10-12 hours okay. of story driven stuff. There, then, yeah. there is and then you can replay it for like more items so like when you replay it instead of getting a ruby you get a diamond you can buy different um, magical items with that so there's all the more reason to keep playing it and playing it and where can we look for when can we look forward to playing it and on what platforms beginning of next year uh steam and console cool perfect yeah. brilliant thank you very much all right thanks cheers i'm here at egx 2016 i've just had a cut to have a we're here at egx 2016 oh, <laughs> Stay cool. is the name of the game that we're about to do i think Stay cool. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm flagging now. <laughs> so I'm here at EGX 2016. That sounds really weird. What's your name again? Mitch. Mitch. Cool. I would have said Mark, and that would have been wrong. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs>